Hello, I'm Sturgios Papadakis. I'm a program manager at IARPA. I'm the program manager of the BRIAR program, which stands for Biometric Recognition and Identification at Altitude and Range. Uh, what we're aiming to do is enable biometric matching for much longer ranges and higher altitudes than we can do today. And this has a lot of applications in, for example, border security, counterterrorism, and counterintelligence, as well as critical infrastructure protection and critical facilities protection. What's exciting about the Briar program today is that from the beginning of the program, we've planned for it to be integratable with both existing camera and security systems and future camera and security systems. So even in the near term, we'll be able to have immediate mission impact, and in the longer term, we'll be able to continue to support those missions. The Briar program is taking the latest and greatest advances in machine learning and applying them to specific government problems. Uh, at a fundamental level, we're making fundamental advances in machine learning that are specific to challenges where you have large amounts of training data that aren't directly applicable to your challenge problem and only small amounts that directly apply to the challenge. So these advances will be beneficial across government efforts in machine learning advancement. Specifically for biometric matching, we've got big advances in face matching at range, body shape identification, and gait identification, and we've created an integrated system that combines all three of those modalities into an effective solution. Briar aims to achieve significant advances in biometric matching performance at range. We expect the solution to be better than the average person by a significant amount, and even better than trained experts at identifying people from video at range and altitude. To our knowledge, Briar is the first biometric matching program that tries to do matching at the ranges and altitudes that we're working with. Furthermore, it's the first program that combines face matching, body matching, and gait matching in an automated way, such that the end user of the software doesn't need to worry about which of those is the most appropriate to use. The system just returns the best answer automatically.